Okay, so we use one of two formulas, a equals half times base times height, or a equals base times height divided by two to find the area of each triangle below. So let's use uh, area equals half the base times the height. And let's, let's just plug in what we know. So we don't know the area yet, we're trying to find that out. We do know the half, that's, that's not gonna change. Uh, the base, it's nice and simple, that's five. 90 degrees to the base will be the height. So that's here, and that's 2.5. So now it's just a simple case of multiplying. A half times five is 2.5, and 2.5 times 2.5, uh, if that's a little bit tricky, use your calculator. You're allowed to use your calculator, so use it. So 2.5 times 2.5 equals 6.25. So let's write that down. 6.25. We're using centimeters, so that's the unit of measurement. And we're talking area, so those units of measurement are squared. Uh, we could get the same outcome by using the other formula. So area equals base times height divided by two. So how that looks when we plug in what we know. Okay, so the base, what we said was five, and the height was 2.5. Okay, so that will all be, so five times 2.5, and the answer gets divided by two. So let's figure that out. Uh, five times 2.5. So. Let's use a calculator, calculator 5 times 2.5, and that equals 12.5. So 12.5, and that has to be divided by 2. So probably a good idea to use our calculator again. 12.5 uh, divided by 2 equals 6.25. So 6.25 centimeters, and we're area, so it's squared. Okay, so let's try the next one. Uh, we'll start with our formula A equals half the base times the height and plug in what we know. So for sure, we have a half. The base is 10 and the height, which is 90 degrees to the base, is 8.5. Okay, so let's multiply all that. Half of 10 is 5. 5 times 8.5, let's use our calculator. 5 times 8.5 and that equals 42.5. So, 42.5, we're talking centimeters, that's unit of measurement, and it's area, so it should be squared. If we use the other formula, we end up with something like this, area equals base times height divided by two. Let's plug in those values. So the base we said was 10, multiplied by the height, which is 8.5, and that will be, the answer will be divided by two. So it becomes 10 times 8.5 is 85, and that gets divided by two, remember? So 85 divided by two is 42.5. Can you use your calculator if you want. Uh, and that's centimeters squared because we're talking area. And for the last one, let's use area equals half the base times the height and plug in what we can find in the diagram. So the base, is going to be 9.5. The height, 90 degrees to the base, is 3.5. So I can see I'm going to have to use my calculator here. So let's use it. No harm in using the calculator. So 0.5 is the half times 9.5 times 3.5. And that equals 16.625. And that's centimeters, we're talking area, so it's squared. So that one's a little bit more awkward, but let's tr use the other um, formula and see how we can work through to the same answer. So area equals base times height divided by two, right? So let's plug in what we've got. So we've got the base, so that will be 9.5 times the height at 90 degrees, remember, 3.5. So let's do that. It is at 9.5 times 3.5, okay, 33.25. Okay, so whatever the answer is there, that has to be divided by two. And we know that the answer of 9.5 is 
times 3.5, remember it's 33.25, so 33.25, remember it has to be divided by 2, so let's do that, getting a bit ugly here in my working out, my setting out, the equal sign should all be in a line, so mine are getting a little bit out of line, and it has to be divided by 2, so it is 16 point six two five centimeters squared and that is the final answer